Well, covering Jacksonville Beach, people living in one community say they're miserable after a big change caused by Hurricane Matthew. In the sanctuary neighborhood, it was badly damaged in Hurricane Matthew. Our Sky 4 drone captured this video as families cleaned out their homes. Well, now people in Lake Sanctuary say the brush and trees that were removed after the storm have left them sleepless at night. Channel 4's Francesca Amaker is live here in the studio. And Fran, they're taking matters into their own hands? They certainly are, Mary. In fact, they started this petition and they have dozens upon dozens of neighbors who have already signed it. They're not only hoping to get this barrier, but they're also hoping to get the attention of the state. Sometimes if there's a super loud motorcycle, it'll wake up my son, Asher, and it's like, you know, we got to go back in there and put him down and do the whole thing. So, you know, that can be really frustrating and uh, interrupting. It's the ideal place for anyone to raise a family. But for Bruce Wire and about three dozen other families on his block, there's just one issue. The sound of heavy traffic going by every single day, and it's just a few yards away from the back of their homes. There'll be like really loud motorcycles or cars that are getting onto the on-ramp that are pressing the gas pedal, and uh, it gets extremely loud. So it's, you know, could wake up the kids or, you know, it's just um, really frustrating at times. But it wasn't always that way. Neighbors say this time last year, there were thick trees and brush that lined the road that helped to reduce the noise from the highway. But due to issues with this drain, including severe flooding in two homes during Hurricane Matthew, much of the brush had to be cleared. Now all that's left is a noisy highway with no barrier. So neighbors are petitioning the Florida Department of Transportation for help, hoping the agency can create a noise barrier that will restore their quality of life. And just in the past 30 minutes, I did hear back from FDOT. The agency has inquired about the noise wall to the agency's planning engineers. They're the folks who typically align the noise walls when construction projects occur. Now, a lot of research, testing, and monitoring goes into that process. The agency has not received anything conclusive back. Miriam Rock. Thank you, Fran.